studio with me today. Great guest to talk and catch up with Thurston County Commissioner Bud Blake. Good morning, Bud. Hey, Jeff. How are you doing? It's I'm great doing to, well. Yeah, it's great to be back in Mesa County. Good to see you. Mm-hmm. We uh, have talked uh, off and on uh, over the months on things that uh, both Thurston and Mason County have been working very closely on together. And so yeah. let's start things off with that. Uh, the the BOO, the BHO, the Behavioral yeah. Health, uh, how's all that working for you? You know, everybody? we have. Thurston and Mason County has been very good about working together and bringing together uh, the Thurston Mason Behavioral Health Organization, which is a funder and provider. But also um, we uh, have a couple of things in terms of triage centers we have a triage center in thurston county and we have a triage center that we're developing here in mason county which mm-hmm. i think is absolutely phenomenally great for both counties uh, just because the, it um, helps law enforcement it helps families and it helps the economy when someone has an issue at home where it may schizophrenia depression or there's an issue on the street where uh, say law enforcement comes to the site and they make a determination to have that person go to the triage center instead of the big jail what we yeah. call the big jail and we don't use the jail as a mental institute and so um at the triage center you get uh, evaluated and then there's a case manager and in like in thurston county we have a, a court commissioner and a prosecuting attorney and the uh, and the defense um they all kind of do a mini trial right there so yeah. the person doesn't get off the hook so to speak if they were tagging or urinating in public or everything they don't need to go to the big jail and sit there for weeks on end and find out that they're still going to be um, handled the same way in the judicial system and we're super excited about doing the same thing here in um, mason county with the triage center that's just underway um, here recently and so um that's some of the things we do together and that's really a good feeling um county to county wide so what do you hear from both the officers who uh, make these determinations and then also from the jail staff who uh, who interacts with the with that population every day yeah uh, from the officers they think this is absolutely wonderful and we are not really bureaucratic but this is a great layer of 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 government coming in there and and helping out in terms of and i mean government local government yeah and saying this is the best thing going because um but believe it or not the officers do not want to take someone who's done a minor offense to a, a the big jail and right. put them in there they like seeing this it helps um, back in the in the neighborhoods and in, uh, in the streets to show how that we have a care for the people and it's not just all about handcuffs and, mm-hmm. and bar slamming and everything uh, so then then they see the products of them coming to the triage so they being the officers giving come, bringing the uh, mental uh, person to the jail because then when they get a case manager they say okay that person has some sort of follow-up and it's not just uh, put them back on the streets sure. and that kind of stuff as far as the um, workers in the jail they think it's great also um, because you know um, then they can actually focus on those who have done heinous crimes the rapes and murders or whatever and that's where those kind of people need to be and not have to deal with these say minor issues that come along with the mental um, issues of, of tagging and whatever like i said earlier and a lot of times th- those folks aren't trained in those aspects of it yeah they're just thrown in, 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 into a, a room and handle it and that's the best way I and mean, we've been practicing and we don't need to do that anymore when uh, the saying uh, that's the way it used to be yeah. is no longer and i'll tell you jeff that we've um about uh, i have my numbers correct in thurston county i don't mason county hasn't really started yet but thurston county we've done 149 about 150 diversions what we call it sure so it's just underway uh, even as of late last september but it's great that we have 149 in the pipe so to speak and wow. and um it'll get, only get better and that's what it's all about one of the other big things at thurston county that has been going on for years as long as i can remember is uh down uh in the southern part of thurston county is yeah. the pocket gopher deal. <laughs> yeah, the and we've talked about this the mazama pocket gopher this little creature that lives down there and uh, mm-hmm. trying to uh, coincide with the folks who have uh, property and they have homes and businesses down there what's the progress on this thing you know you're absolutely right it used to be horrendous as far as getting into a home or build, developing your land be it generationally or some sort of new development um, but here lately we've been able to strike a I won't say a deal because it's uh, it's not something that we really have to want to negotiate with, but it's where the two governments that come together, the federal government and the local government, in this last round of discussion where on the interim process, uh, it used to be between June and October, there were three site visits onto one piece of property, acre, five acres, whatever it is, and now we reduced it um, with the feds, and it's only two site visits. Okay. And so in between each site visit, it's 30-day wait period. So now you've reduced it down from a 90 to a 60-day period for your permit and be able to get your, your, your life going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. So if you have 
wife, kids, and grandma, and all that want to move into the house. Uh, it's only 60 days away instead of 90 days away. And while that's only a minor improvement, that's what it's all about, getting in there and uh, working with the, the governments, the two governments, and taking care of people and getting rid of the regulations that are just sometimes onerous and unnecessary and finding out where that balance is, protecting the environment and having development happen at the same time and watching people grow their lives. Does the federal government come out on a regular basis, either the inspection process or just in general to kind of get a sense of of the situation with the pocket gophers as i mean it's been a long time that this has happened so yeah. i imagine the first time that this came up till now things have changed dramatically but does the federal government come in and and relook at things yeah, as of yesterday, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, we sat down with them uh, and, and kind of rehash where we're at in the progress and the process, and not only for now, and but for next year to see how we can make it even to one inspection if we can get into that. And uh, that's looking really good, and, and it's promising. No promises, but it's looking really good. And um, to, to add to that, it, they do. In fact, we added more people on the staff from both the federal side and the county side, so we have more inspectors to go out and do two or three places at one time where it used to be just a couple a handful of one or two people which was slowing down the process and they joined in on that they added an extra person or two so it's just good cooperation i don't always like the pocket go for situation but you take where your wins where you can yeah. and that's what it's all about in um fighting for the people yeah your uh district in thurston county encompasses uh, evergreen have you been over there recently to talk with the president or kind of get a better understanding of What's been going on the last couple of weeks? You know, I've talked to Dr. Bridges, but not specifically about that. There's some other land use issues, but I, I can uh, I certainly sympathize with what's going on over there as far as um, Evergreen is a very vocal uh, community, mm -hmm. and I appreciate that, but uh, I just haven't had the chance to be able to, to delve into the the details so well good and then mm -hmm. uh how are your newest two commissioners coming on it's been uh well i guess about six a half month. a year yeah now. yeah six months there they finally got uh, their feet on the ground a little bit of traction and now we give them um some wings that's kind of scary and then get some flight and next thing you know i'll be <laughs> having them pull them out of the air and right. out of cloud nine because <laughs> but it's absolutely fun every day is fun there now and so um, uh, we take things serious obviously but at the same time we make sure it's family and fun and, and friends um, and I'm um, looking forward to a whole lot of good changes coming about. What's yeah. going to happen with uh, Alabama football this year? Well, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. I actually uh, want to see Alabama and uh, the Roll Tide and the Huskies go to the championship. That would be a phenomenal. We were so asset. close last I year. Know. <laughs> the stage has said it's going to be. A I know it's going to be a replay, and this time the Huskies are going to come all the way. Even though I'm an Alabama fan, sure. I want to see the two get into the into the to the fight. So, It'll be yeah. a great one. Yeah, yeah. Thurston County Commissioner Bud Blake, good to see you. It is great to see you, Jeff. Have too. a great weekend. You do the same.